Julie, we're here at the Disability Action Center, your pride and joy for all the clients that you serve and they serve you. And That's right. Tell me what's going on today. Well, today we are celebrating the 10-year anniversary of us opening this center. It was on April 30th, 2009 that we first had our building dedication and open house and we thought this was a nice opportunity to take a look back and look how far we've come in the past decade. Thank those that helped us along the way and really kind of uh, build our foundation for the future. How many years have you been a part of this uh, and been the executive director? I've been the director for nine years and I was on the board of directors uh, 10 years ago when we opened, opened the doors here. So I've been a part of, of everything that's happened here under this roof, uh, but there are many people before me and, and, and many people that, that, that have helped with this. What would you say in your minds are some of the better accomplishments, some of the things that you are most proud of during these past nine, ten years? I'm sure you're going to reflect on that later. Dee Dee, that, that, that's a great question. You can kind of see the progression from 2009 to 2013, 14, where we really focused on the building. We, I call that the if you if we build it they will come projects the roof the paving the classrooms the desks the computers and then there's a real switch from 2014 to 2019 once we got the building done we were able to really advance our programs we're talking stem programs farm and garden rural programs uh, cooking classes computer classes we're in the schools now so once those capital projects were done we really were able to skyrocket with our programming there's been a, a huge um, enlargement of the program, a huge enlargement of community uh, uh, acceptance for the Disability Action Center. That's due to you and to all of the clients that are served and to the services that uh, you are providing now. Um, tell us about what you envision as you look down the road. I mean. Ten years ago, I don't think you realized you would be in this position. And I have a feeling that in another ten years, you won't realize where, you, where you've been since uh, uh, today. So what are some of your hopes of maybe where you can go from here? Well, I'll tell you, Dee Dee, we knew back in 2009 when the Hopstein brothers gifted us this building that we had a huge responsibility to the community. And you hit the nail on the head. We didn't want just this just to be a center for people with disabilities. Yeah. We wanted it to be open to everyone in the community because that is true integration. Not only what happens behind these walls, but us taking our clients outside of these walls. Right. So I think you're going to see a lot more community-based programs from us. I think you're going to see us in the schools. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see us working with younger and younger folks, where primarily right now we serve adults with special needs. I think you're going to see us working with a younger and younger population. Population. We do a little bit of that now with some of our camps and some of our evening and weekend programmings. But I think now we've got we've got our footing under us, and I think you're just going to see us cast a wider and wider net in in North Central West Virginia. Great observation. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Dee Dee. I appreciate you being here as always. Thanks.